Hi, this is Rob with SalesPad. In this video, I'd like to show you how to uh, set up an email template when emailing sales documents. This happens uh, when when printing a document. You can see I'm, I'm checking an order, and then I can I can choose to email it. On this list, uh, I have I have two templates set up. One is just sort of a short thank you, and the other one is more involved one with an address and, and a signature. So to set this up, I'm going to go to um, the email template editor. Now I have this I have this enabled in, in my security screen, and what this allows you can see that there are two uh, the two templates here. And in here you may notice that there are three buttons, so you can do what you might expect with a template. You can add, you can add a new one, you can delete one, or rename it. And then on the right hand side, uh, based on whichever one we have selected, there is the actual text with the placeholders. Now the way this works is you can see that there is just normal typed out text and then these placeholders while you're free to type these it's a lot easier just to uh, use this uh, insert merge field drop down. So I can with this I can browse all the business object fields that, that I can add on here. For example I can add sales document city, I can add the, the fax number, I can add all these fields that are uh, document header level fields, or the same way I can I can add customer fields, or bill to address fields, and then if I choose one that I that I want to insert, I can click on it and then it'll place it'll put the placeholder in for me right here, and then normally if that's something I wanted to save I could just hit the save button, close it, and that's that's really all there is to it. Finally, let's go into the security editor to, so I can show you which module to enable for this. So once again, I'm in the admin group, and I'm going to clear this filter. And uh, the module we're looking for is the email template editor. So I just have this one checked to enable it. Um, if I were to enable this right now, uh, if it wasn't, for example, I would just have to save it log out and log back in for the changes to take effect. So uh, there you have how to, uh, how to set up email templates in SalesPad. Thanks for watching this video. This is Rob with SalesPad.